If we disagree with someone, yet we don't want to argue with them or be upset at them, does that mean we can't actually tell them what we think? The answer to that lies in a very simple rule. It's not what you say, but how you say it. We fight so hard against the idea that we cannot be angry because we fear that the alternative is having to agree with people we don't actually agree with. But in reality, it is impossible to agree with someone 100% of the time in all aspects and all concepts because we are all individual human beings with different upbringing and experiences. Sally Cohn, a columnist and political commentator at CNN, brought up a perspective that was incredibly necessary for her line of work. She said, we can be politically correct but emotionally wrong. And that sentence is so powerful because it applies to every aspect of our communication with people. We can be right in our beliefs and ideas, but are we emotionally correct in communicating those beliefs? When we're self-righteous, condescending, and dismissive of people who don't agree with us, we think people don't like us because we don't agree with them. But in actual fact, people don't like us because of the way we disagree with them. In all human interaction, there needs to be a connection. Call it active listening, or empathy, or patience. But the connection is built on the premise that we try our best to not invalidate the other person's experience even as we disagree with them. The true reason we get angry when people don't agree with us is because they've invalidated our emotions, like our feelings don't matter. It's because they've invalidated our sense of the world, like they think our worldview is stupid. What is disagreed upon is actually a small part of the problem. It's the lack of emotional correctness that becomes the real problem in any kind of communication. So even when you think you're right, remember that emotion Emotional correctness is part of the whole picture of being right. That's how even when you think someone is wrong, you can still be happy, always.